it is 9.30. Is that time for Bun Bun Story Hour? We have two big things on our uh, agenda. One is apparently to go to Vesper Bay, which is on the other side of Thanaland. Woohoo! Do we want to do Halatali first? Uh. Why you speak with Safaja? Well, now that we're here and nowhere near the. Yeah, well. Uh... your hand. Okay, I guess we're doing Halatali first. Are you doing it like this? I'm debating whether we want to do it like this or do it like this. I mean, this. Okay, this is still my lowest level class. Yeah, my... So I could probably what? use the XP. Yeah, well. And at least I'm not going in there completely blocked. Yeah. Maybe. Which one Hello, is this? Ripley. This is I know, the no spoilers. Uh, no abandoned spoilers. gladiatorial arena. Oh, right. Yes, they talk or, about that. Uh, gladiatorial I training facility. That. Hmm? Oh, man. I'm just trying to remember how many times I've actually done that. Not many. Do you want me I to take I've... and you heal? Um, no. No. No, that should not be a problem. Though, admittedly, both uh, Marauder and Con 22 at the moment, though Marauder is lower in the level. Hello, Mr. Fafa Joni. Hello, Mr. Smith. I'm ignoring you. And will the Chocobo get off? He's looking at me so expectantly. He thinks I have a cockaroot on me or something. Yeah, I know. He's, like, completely covering the little quest giver. <laughs> He's mother henning. <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> um, yeah. Um... Him and the McNugget. <laughs> yes, we do have a McNugget. He's floating here, too. <laughs> oh, there they go. Woohoo! Yay! And, by the way, the bird's name is Meep. <laughs> That's a good chocobo name. If it is the halls of Halatali you seek, you need seek no further. Permit me to tell you something of this place. The name comes from an ancient tongue, Halatali, meaning the land of many shadows. It was here that our distant ancestors first settled and... Ah, you've not come all this way to wasn't a history. Then why'd you start? I think he just wants someone to talk to. I, I think he's still dizzy after being sat on by a chocobo. <laughs> Shh, listen. Do you not hear the howls and growls? No, I don't. Do you not feel how they shake the very earth beneath you? Nope. Those sounds are the work of no wind, my friend. Nor is that rumbling the doing of any shadows. Those are the calls of Halatali. For now, the beasts once kept for the Colosseum lurk here. And these are no gentle beasts broken by the hand of man. No, there are those within that even the might of the immortal flames cannot tame. From the look of you, you must be Ladonia. I, I received word from Nedric that you might be along. By his recommendation, I grant you leave to enter freely. I only pray you're able to find your way out. Ooh. He totally wants to do a ghost story with us. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Hmm. Cotton Hold on a master second. Gloves. That's actually an upgrade. I think I will keep those. Same here. Just slightly different item. Excuse me while I slip into something more protective. <laughs> okay. Ready to do this? Mm -hmm. If the chocobo would get off the entrance. Is every anyone else in the world ready to do this? Oh, right. Our fourth dungeon! <laughs> that we're barely up level four. Well, we're just hoping we don't passed. get a pusher. 
That would be good. I am not geared for pushing. Yeah. It, take it as you see fit. Yes, happy bunny day. Easter bun bun theme. Maybe we should put on our bunny costumes. <laughs> bunnies inside bunnies? I don't think I really care for bunception. <laughs> okay, so we have a dragoon and a. I can't remember that in class. That's an arcanist! So we have one person here who has a job. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there will be much pushing. Not if the Dragoon has any smarts. And the Dragoon has not hit 50 yet. Okay, then. So no one here is past the original endgame. Throw my shield. I don't have a shield. Why don't I have a shield to throw? Because you have a mighty axe that you can throw. You should have tomahawk. Yeah. That's one I haven't had much call. Yet. It's great calling. Yeah. I haven't needed it yet. Well, somebody's happy with how this is going. Hello, ladies. Welcome, welcome. We're doing the fourth dungeon available in the uh, game, Holotali. Yeah, let's get them. Distracted by I'm not going to look 90 degrees over to see the chat. I'm sorry. No, no. Oh, geez. I just realized something. Our arcanist is 21. Yes. He's lower level than we are. Yes, he is. Don't forget to use your defensive. You're going to need it with this group. Yeah, I'm trying to get the thing done. <laughs> Select everything except for what you want. wandering around down here. Nope. We're good. Okay. So, yeah, with this group, we definitely want to take it a uh, little slow. Dragoon might be able to do the DPS, but, uh... But, yeah, he's the only one who has a chance. Um... Yeah, I got you! Cooldown. Okay... I was kind of watching my health drop, and I'm looking over at Rampart, and it's not ready. If you can get a moment, see if you can examine our Dragoon and see what level he actually is. Because an examine will tell you. 
Ready? Well, no, the examine only does uh, the current sink level. Uh, no, I've got an echo. And I'm going to need reminders of what to do, especially. Uh, you just stand here and hold him in place. Yeah, that sounds right. Me, on the other hand. your defenses if you could. Yeah, I just put up a uh, reprisal. And there's Rampart. And come on, there's a Pushin. Since we're in the days where Pushins actually do things meaningful. Ah. Okay, the Dragoon's got that channel. Good. I would kind of hope he knows what's going to happen. You would be surprised. Yes, yes I would. <laughs> Which is really impressive considering where I started. Okay, by search info, our Dragoon is 49. So he's just shy of... Yeah, yeah. And don't forget we have to deal with the chains. Uh... Yes, it's a Topaz Carbuncle! Why does he have a Topaz Carbuncle out? <laughs> thing to do. Uh, yeah, the Emerald would serve him a little better here, but that's okay. Here's it's not conquer. like the thing's going to run ahead and try and tank things on you. Like it used to. Ow! <laughs> I'm not used to watching my health drop that fast. Yeah, in the lower levels, your health yo yo is so bad. Because anything less than two. Third health down is overhealing. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh my gosh, two treasure coffers! They're being generous tonight. Yeah, usually it's a miracle if you see one. They're normally all traps, Baron. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people actually leave something valuable down here. Or kidding. There's a controller that'll come off the side here. And we 
and maybe, yep, we got yep. more. We got trapped. This has been a shocking development. <laughs> Let's see what you did there. Ah, uh, nope, nope, that's not the controller. <laughs> okay, gain the chest real quick. And okay, here. Ooh. Ooh, a book for the anarchist if he wishes it. Okay. And he got it. And there's the patroller. So it was good I went down there. He got himself an upgrade. Awesome. Oh, God. I think they're only traps if you're already in the combat at the time. Want to test the theory? And that was a test! Well, so much for that theory. want to pull him up onto the ramp. Is this... Do not go into the water. Yes, it's that one. <sighs> I hate this fight. No matter what class I am, I hate this fight. Come on. You actually don't need to pull him out of the water, you just need to you yourself and not be on it. I wanted to make sure anyone who wanted to be behind him could be. True. Um, the Dragoon does have position. That was more what it was for. Die. 
discipline of war and discipline of war. Who? I think it was probably a case of he walked out of the Because he has been... Well, more material when I get out of here. Dang it. Uh, you've got one that's broken away from- oh, now he's back on you. Okay. Yeah, they, they were both on me the entire time. One got away at first. for the trap. Go for the trap! Hi. I suppose you're wondering what I'm doing here. Ooh, a tanking chest. Yes, it is. And there's our uh, mapping the route. And I am getting close to level. This is just quick charm. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a heck not some value of beauty. Are you ready for Tangata? Yeah. Just don't stand in the fire um, when he casts the fire for the first like couple times. He'll just stand there like a dumb knock so you can go deal with like the fire sprites in the back here. Does he at this no. point? Not when these guys are up and we get three of them down and he comes out of his state. There we go. And the Lancer was good about getting the uh, other guy down so he didn't do a bird. Good. Shoot. And come to the back. Or get one of, yeah, get the Dimitri or whatever those things are. The little the mantis, thing. it looks like. Tell me when he's coming out of it. He's out. And this next round, I'll pull them back towards the back gate. Uh, back gate. Yeah. Try and get him centered if you can. Doesn't look like it. 
Ah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And I think that was the Dragoon's level up. Uh, might have been his too. It was mine. And I am now being synced down to 23. Yes. I'm going to convince the Dragoon because she waited. Yes. Yeah, we just hit level and 23. And that's... you want that. Yeah. Oh, I came out of there with some good stuff. Yeah, this is a level 20 dungeon. Uh, it's number four available in the game. Woohoo! That actually went really quickly. Mm-hmm. Now you've got some gear to put on. Yes. Okay, first of all. No, it's the exact same item. Never mind. Now I think Rose possibly got an upgrade. Oh yeah. And then... Then of course that. Oh yeah, sexy bunny outfit. Oh. And that takes me all the way from gear level fourteen to fifteen. Woohoo! Yeah, I know. Yes. Ah, okay. You That's know what, what this means? We need to somehow make our way back to the rising cell. Hold on a moment. Or so, so <sighs> it, it, it is time to do something about these. Oh no, no, it's not, is it? No, you have to wait till we hit the city. Ah. Come on. Let's go get a chocobo porter. But we just got here. And you're now two levels ahead of me. Yeah, I'm thinking I might switch to, um, Conjurer for a little bit, because that's still at 22. Um, it's just, actually, it was like two-thirds of the way through 22 instead uh, of... What's your Black Mage at? Or, uh, sorry, your Mid uh, Thaumaturge. Midway through 23. Uh... You might want to do that, or you might want to hold, and we'll switch roles for the next uh, thing that's going to pop, which will hopefully be soon. We're trying to make our way to it. It won't generate two levels, though, and neither is the stuff getting to it. True. True. So I'm going to go Conjurer for a little bit. Hello, Mr. Chocobo Keep. We want to go to Ulda. And then you can uh, do something about your beer, if you wish. Yeah. Of course, now I'm in the wrong class to do that. <laughs> I'm just destined to be un uh, uncomfy in uh How are my tank. classes doing? Okay, Gladiator is 23, Rogue is 22, Conjurer is 24. So my Rogue is my weakest. Jackie would be disappointed. Speaking of, of course, that means tank hit 24 and is decently far through, so it won't take much to hit the level 25 quest for that. Soon. 
Uh, we'll want to have at least one tank, one uh, melee, one heal, and one mage under us. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm thinking you might want to go dancer when you hit 60. Mm-hmm. I'm debating whether... I would love to try dancer. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and grab uh, Red Mage at 50 as my magic class. Okay. Yeah, that's right. They split it by uh, magic. Yeah. So Thaumaturge will be my mage. Dancer counts as physical? Dancer counts as physical. Okay, then. It's physical ranged and there's melee ranged. But for questing purposes, they kind of squish melee and physical range together. Yeah. So I'm debating whether I want to, at the same time, you switch to dancer, I switch to dancer. Because double dancer can do pretty interesting things. This is the one that needs it. Yeah, those need better boots. A little better, though the the pants don't quite work with those boots. Yeah, well, I don't have anything glamoured for pants. It, it, all I have for a glamour plate is those boots. And we want to go to Vesper Bay. Hey. Staying in fashion is very important in this game. <sighs> yeah, though a little difficult at this level. Um, a lot of the suits actually are very practical at this level. They start getting yes. more impractical as you go up. <laughs> yes, yes they do. Ah, uh, there's someone in the proper Easter spirit. Oh. A guy in a full oh, bunny yeah. suit beating up on uh, Cactar. <laughs> Pugglist bunny. No, no, it never quite gets to wow level of impracticals, though they have their own oh, unique um, take on things. There, there's not much in... Uh, there's a few, but there's not much in the way of parade floats. Music, it goes down the left side. <laughs> yeah, well, Japanese drive chocobo. Yeah, apparently! <laughs> Somehow, I don't think adjusting chocobo pathing is, is a, uh, a check uh, on the checklist for localization items. I've seen weirder. <laughs> yeah, straighten your hair. You were going pretty fast on that chocobo. Yeah. 
Uh, do you remember what the secret knock was? Let me in. Okay. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> Let me in, let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. I had forgotten the Lala guards. Well, they change out every time you uh, hit a new story point. Really? Yes. Okay. All the guards change I, out. I, I, I'm so used to very late in the story. Yeah. Hello, Mentelia. You up to her? Just got him. Welcome back, Rena, Ladonia. I trust your visit to the bonfire proved fruitful. What am I putting in? A once ordinary materia dagger. Materia enhanced dagger. Once ordinary dagger, now made special with the wonders of materia. Do, do, do. Ah, what a remarkable difference a single piece of materia can make. Granted, the skills needed to manipulate the substance are not easily acquired, but one need only look upon the results to realize that such efforts are worthwhile. As I am sure you're aware, the quality of one's equipment can be the difference between victory and defeat. Materia may give you the edge you need, Rena, and Ladonia, so make it your ally. Now, it is time we discuss the matter of your next mission. Pray speak with me when you're ready to begin. Yeah, that would be about now. Lord of the Inferno. There's a picture. Yeah. Menphilia would like you to assist the immortal flames. Kind of reminds me of the one picture in Stir Control. Poor tactical positioning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, in the original story control, they had little screens to describe all the various ships, and um, for the old Wrath, the Avenger, which is the kind of Romulan plasma ship. Oh, uh, you know, they, they say you know veins to do this, and so on and so forth. You know, it shows the fire stream going forth, and there's obviously some small ship that got caught in it, and there's a little arrow going to it saying poor tactical positioning. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's one way of putting it. <laughs> Word has arrived from Thancred concerning our ongoing investigation. It appears that he was able to extract some information from our friend Ungus, the false priest. He revealed that he is due to meet with the Amalja to discuss their dealings. The Immortal Flames believe that this meeting will represent an ideal opportunity to ambush and capture the Amalja responsible for the abductions, and so they mean to have Ungus attend it as planned. The Amalja are, antici are anticipating... Ah, sorry. As the Amalja are anticipated to offer fierce resistance, the Immortal Flames have requested our support. I would have you provide it to them, Rena, Ladonia. Thagrid is presently attending another matter, but will join you as soon as he is able. Until such time as he is done, you will be the Scion's sole representatives on the ground. Before he left, he bade me tell you to save some for him. Such is his confidence in you, a confidence I share. When you have made ready, pray take yourselves to Camp Drybone and report to the flame surgeon for leading the mission. May you walk in the light of the crystal. We just came from Drybone. I know! Back and forth, back and forth. But she's paying us in carrots. How can it be an offer we can refuse? <sighs> uh, 
back to old Dawn and then uh, transfer to uh, Dry Bone. Yeah. And Seeds of Change is a quest we're purposefully skipping. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Because all it does is uh, give us stuff in our bag. Yeah. I mean, we could kind of take it if we want to just get rid of the bang, but... Maybe when we start clearing out some of the others in this town, because there's all those other red ones. Oh, those come in much, much later. Yeah, I know. But getting rid of the one won't help them, so... No, eh. no, it will not. And of course, one we'll never be able to take because it requires crafting. Yeah. Wow. They did such a beautiful job in the environments in this game. Yeah. And concerning this was originally designed to run on a PS3. With about half the time budget as a normal MMO. <laughs> yeah. This this really always has been uh, the best graphics with. Yeah, I mean, Swotor came close, but the engine was such a dog. Yeah, it, 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 it's the graphics in that one were better, but boy, does not come anywhere close on the least effort side. Yeah. That, that was a very, very... Uh, really, the primary competition would again be Guild Wars 2. Um, True. Definitely a heavier engine than this, but it still looks darn good when it wants to. Yeah. The main problem is have as, as much going for them in the way of beauty shots. Mm. Mostly because they don't set up for it. This is the one game that really pays into we all cinematic storytelling in the questing. Because in Guild Wars 2, of course, it just drops you into characters with a artsy background, but not actual in the world background. Yeah. And all of Swotor's conversation with a few exceptions, a few notable exceptions, but the vast bulk of them are all close ups. They did have a few where they eh, kind of went the extra month. Those got. Yeah. Just like always. <sighs> At least I'm in my running heels. Mm -hmm. These heels were made for running. <laughs> yeah, we're we want to go back to Dry Bone. No, we're not crazy. Yes, we just came through here. <laughs> Yeah. And now the Chocobos get to take over the role of massively multiplayer online jogging simulator. At least it's on autopilot. And we can sit back and talk. <laughs> I don't think I want to do much talking. Get grit in my teeth. So happy when we finally get our own choke boat. And we're close. We're really close. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we talk about beauty shots, and now we're in the middle of a sandstorm, so you can barely see anything. <laughs> but it's a beautiful sandstorm. The only thing that would be worse is if it dumped us into a uh, fog. Yeah. Woo! Look at that aether. Or some of the heavy rainstorms. The aether crystal way in the background. Yeah. The remnants of uh, 
the moon Dalamud when it fell down and made a mess yeah, of everything. Nearly wrecked the, nearly wrecked the continent. I nearly wrecked more than the continent. <laughs> Pardon me, Mr. Antling. Just move it on through. Actually, it'd be moseying on through, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, there's the eighth right. Yeah. And no, that is not a healthy glow. No, it is very much a corrupted crystal. Huh, the moon's out. Yes, indeedy. Oh, there you are. Yeah, my look. This way. Someone named their chocobo Foghorn. <laughs> I just saw the notice of him uh, retreating from battle. Yeah, withdraws from battle. Yeah. Nice. That senator probably has no clue what sort of legacy he's left. <laughs> You are Mr. Flame Sergeant. We are reporting for duty as members of Science of the Seventh Dawn. Uh, guys, give it up. That crate's too heavy for you. Yeah, he's not going uh, anywhere with that thing. Ah, uh, you're Lod in Lodonian Renifert to this. My thanks for coming, friends. We're stronger for your assistance. Allow me to brief you on our mission. Our objective is to capture Amalgia and prize from them the whereabouts of the abductees. The lizard men aren't aware that their man Ungst has been exposed. When they come to the rendezvous point to meet the traitor, we'll spring the trap. Owing to the clandestine nature of the mission, we can deploy only a small contingent. Every member must count, and so we requested the aid of the Scions. The rendezvous will take place at the Invisible City. Please make your way there and lie in wait. We'll stand to learn much and more of the Amalgia plot if the mission succeeds. May let's make sure it does. Yes, sir. Straightening your hair? Is that your version of a salute? You mean it's not? Okay, the invisible city is the old ruins. Yeah. Doesn't seem that invisible. Well, Once they're you get typically there, you can mis usually it's, see it. It's typically mistrouded, so. We can have everything on my bar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Which leads to the question of, do I know what everything on my bar does? Um, that would be a good and useful thing to do. It's been a while since I've been Conjurer. Sorry. Stone, arrow, which is the thought. Cure, Isuna, Medica. Which is the AoE heal. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
right. It's not you. <sighs> it's square. <sighs> Level sync to 24. Which means this is expected to be around 21. Something like that. 1921. It's usually a three level difference. Hello, Ungust. There's the bait in place. Our man is in position, sir. Good. We make her move as soon as the Amaljib. Yes, sir. So far, so good. Yeah, Mulja are big. Yeah. What is the meaning of this? Wait, something's amiss. <laughs> Freeze your little ambush ships here. I eluded the immortal flames clutches for moons before. Did you not wonder how I managed it? It was almost as if someone was feeding him in from. Your every movement was known to me ahead of time. <laughs> now, as much as I'd love to chat a while, I have appointments to keep. They're all yours. I think we're in a fight. a lot of rain. Asked for it. 
hiding in the doorway. Your comrades are dead. Behind you! Dang, sleep spells! Bring her. The rest of you, march. Traitorous scum. Wow. Actual old oh, plot relevant use of sleep. Yeah. The spell you hardly ever see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi there. They got you too, huh? Yeah, they got all of us. Captured Flame Private. The lizard men marched us to their stronghold. They were preparing for something. And I, for one, do not want to be around when they finish. Flame private? They're going to kill us, aren't they? Gods, I don't want to die! I want to go home! And look at all the people they've captured. Over here. Mr. Flame private? Listen well. These waters feed into the marsh tribe. A short swim will see us to freedom. However, if all of us attempt to flee, we're like to be discovered. You alone must sneak out and assemble a rescue party. Once you've won free, seek out our comrade stationed at... He will show you the way back here. And the 12 speed you on your way. No, we are not leaving. The immediate area? No. Alda? Adala. The lizards claim they will soon bring us before a freak for tempering. All of us are as good as dead. Enter the bowl of embers. You must have made sufficient progress in the sword. Hold on. Read. Go talk to the flame sergeant. Malja warrior. Ah. Rejoice, heathens, for your worthless lives shall soon. This is not a meaning I care to have. Yeah. I fear the Amalja mean to give us into their god as an offering. I must die, then let me die a soldier's death with steel in hand. Duty has been updated. Mm -hmm. <sighs> um, we might want to re-party for this. Oh, yeah, that, that would be good. Sorry, I thought you were still in party! <laughs> There. There. Let's just throw in Q and see what happens. Yep. Boy, I get to heal for the. This will be fun. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh god, that's right. I keep forgetting that the first round is a normal. Yeah, it's a normal with a lot of cinematic. Cool cinematic. Lord of the Inferno, hearken to our plea. Lord of the Inferno, deliver us from our misery. O oh, mighty Ifrit, Lord of the Inferno, your humble servants beseech you. Grace us with your divine presence. Remember what I was saying about poor tactical positioning? <laughs> That's gonna be us. Yeah. Oh, 
O oh, mighty Ifrit, we bring before you ignorant savages who know not your godhead. If it please you, Lord, scorch their heathen souls with your cleansing flame, and mark them as your own. Bloody hells. Bring those two as well. Uh, what, what's going on? This ain't what we agreed. None but servants of Lord Ifrit may behold the right of summoning. The souls of unbelievers are forfeit. No, spare me, I beg you. Pitiful children of man, by my breath I claim you. Arise once more, my Lord. Feed my flames with your faith, and all who stand against us shall burn. I like him better as a chicken than a chicken McNugget. I feel it. Mighty Ifrit, my one true god. Your words are my bread. Impossible. By what sorcery do you resist my... Um, the fact that I look cute? Yeah, pretty much. Your soul already belongs to another. Yes, that is the only explanation. Actually, technically true. Forsooth, thy frail mortal th to the blessing but one. Yet I smell not the taint of upon thee. Try again. The truth of thine allegiance waxeth. Thou art of the goddess, godless blessed number. The paragons warned of thine abhorrent kind. Thine existence is not to be suffered. I'm the only one here not over to level 22. Goody. Or did you blow it? Oh, there is swift cast. I didn't think I had swift cast. Damn it. <laughs> I thought swift cast was a lot higher level. Uh, 
Dungeons one. Yes. Yeah, um... <laughs> Sorry. I I would have thought Swiftcast would be like in the forties. <laughs> and what do we have here? Collect and trade them with your friends. Forgive my lateness. A good thing under the. But. I was delayed by a congregation of emulsion zealots. I swear, each seemed more evangelical than the last. I'm a persistent lot. I see the Bloodsworn wasted no time extracting the captives. No less than I'd expect from the Flame General's hand-picked men. Fortunately, we have a problem. As for those two, it is fair to say their hardships have only just begun. They have much to answer for. I feel I owe you an apology. Had I known this mission would prove so dangerous, I would never have left you to face it alone. You've been given a veritable bath and baptism of fire. But let us continue this conversation in agreeable surrounds. Camp Drybone, shall we say? This way, sir! the mighty Ifrit. And what a disappointment he was. The readings are nowhere near what I had made of even taking Old Don interference into account. You should know better to rely on five-year-old data left by the 13th. Or, sorry. Seventh. You should know to... You should know better than to rely on... Upon five-year-old data left by the fit That's eight? Seven. Uh, v I I. V oh, okay. oh, part of it is that the the font is so close it's actually merging together on me. Yeah. I hate dyslexia. Kenny. <laughs> yes, Kenny. You should know better than to rely upon five-year-old data left by the seventh legion. Nor can we expect any form of support from the Motherland, given the troubles at court. We have only ourselves to rely upon. Ever the pessimist, my dear Livia. Promise me you'll never change. We've wasted enough time here. The meter of yours is too old to give any readings worth a damn. I thought there was aught worth a damn to afford to read, but I take your point. I suppose we must continue primary objective. And I find that I am troubled by that adventure's unexpected show's strength. Such a foe prove a hindrance to our plans. Perhaps, but that is a consideration for another time. You have been given a task. That task is your priority. I suggest you treat it as such. Fail to do as my lord commands. 
and I will spare him the trouble of punishing you. As I always like that. If you were a woman in love, I shall need on my best behavior. And there is someone we have not seen the end of. No. Oh look, we're dead. How'd that happen? Yep. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Well, no offense, uh, that pugilist really need to get onto that nail. I was yeah. actually trying to hold back. Yeah. That did not help. I got accommodation. Why did I didn't get accommodation? I died! I died in it. <laughs> you did your job and you did it well. You gave you gave your all for it. <laughs> I gave my everything. <laughs> ah, there you are. Come, rest a while. You will have no better opportunity. After witnessing their gods' in ignominious defeat, the Amalja will be less inclined to risk our wrath, for a while at least. Now, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, I was in the process of apologizing. I do hope you can forgive me. I arrived too late to be of any use, to you or the abductees. They may be whole of body, but the same cannot be said of their minds. Once a man is tempered... Ah, uh, but it still suits me to dwell on the next. Amidst all our misfortunes, there is still reason to rejoice, if it is slain, and by a year or hand, no less. That is the deed of no ordinary individual. Not that I ever thought you were ordinary. On the contrary, I have long suspected that you have the potential to shape the fate of this realm. What can I say? My fine eye for talent remains undimmed. Menphilia will be proud beyond all reckoning when she hears of your deeds. I trust you shan't object to my bearing the tidings to her. That way, I can claim to have contributed something to this mission. Meanwhile, you have earned yourself a rest. Take some time to relax, and return to the Waking Sands when you're good and ready. We can discuss matters in more detail then. Just don't take too long, will you? The realm's problems won't solve themselves. So, I guess it's the... Uh... Back to the Waking Sands. I think we're done in the zone. Oh, no, no, that's... Yeah, we'll do those later. Oh, yeah, one thing, they're all up. Yeah. Time to head back to the Waking Sands. Go here, go there. Go here, go there. Go here, go there again. Yep. Here and back again. Yeah, uh, we will go to a bar. More money for him. More co chocobo feet for the chocobos. Mm-hmm. So that was crystal number out of six. Yes. And which element was the first one? That one is obviously fire. I think the first one we did is actually water. I'm not sure on that. I was thinking that would be likely since... Either well, water or we'll ice. See, yeah, we won't see either of those for a while. You have to get them somewhere else. Um, wind and what's the other one coming up? Earth. Right, 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 right. Goes fire, earth, wind. Yeah. Ice, water, lightning. And yeah, all three of those we don't get during main part. Yeah, the, the... we don't see primals for. Yeah, the MSQ, you get the first three, which are uh, Earth, or Fire, Earth, and Wind. Yep. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Okay. 
Actually, Derek, do we have any Earth, Wind, and Fire records? I don't think we do. Actually, while we're doing this, do you want to try and uh, resync your um, your dongle for your headphones? No. Oh. You're cutting in and out again. <sighs> yeah, I. The other possibility more is. worry about is the mic itself. Um, you've got some sort of software because I've noticed you tend to cut in and out when you hit certain pitches. Hmm. So it might be trying to throttle you. Hmm. No idea on that. Yeah, I'll take a look at your system later. And off to Vesper Bay. We're going to save so much money if we are in Chocobo. <laughs> yes, yes we are. And I believe, um... Our chocobos we get are actually faster than these particular taxi ones. Yes, they are. Uh, it's basically run speed, uh, the rental chocobo, your chocobo, and then the two bonuses to its run speed for, you know, order things go in. Yeah. Uh, now, I believe the taxi chocobos outside of AR are actually faster. Uh, one thing, they also are flying speeds. Yeah. And there's one flight speed. I believe. The flying taxis might be at a different flying bounds. Who knows? Yes, someone had a fat chocobo. Mm hmm Halfway through um, his what he needs in comms for his brain fat chocobo. Mm. Trust me, that one's insane. <laughs> it's like 3,000 comms. Oh, good lord. Speaking of such things, there goes somebody on a on a riding chocobo, outdistancing me. Oh yeah, riding chocobos will easily outdistance you. Especially since I wouldn't be surprised if he has a uh, speed bonus. Zoom! There she goes. Yep. catching up from a minute ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm in front of the uh, quest burger. Scion of the Seventh Dawn? Yes. Yeah. Ah, the triumphant hero returns. Thancred told us the news upon his arrival. 
He presently is in the Solar giving a full report to Lady Minfilia. You should join them at once. Minfilia is most eager to see you. Now, I think we get a story dump. It might run over 10 minutes. It'll probably run around that. And so far, not voiced. Okay, I was kind of expecting to get a voiced scene. That might be My later I... Yeah. Dropping in and out of voiced sections on drop of hat, I don't get it. My late arrival nearly cost Ladonia and Rena their lives. I wasn't there when the Amalgia took her prisoner. And I wasn't there when they served her to Ifrit. Yes, by some miracle, she, they survived. That does not excuse the fact that they should never have had to face such dangers alone. I failed her utterly. Just as I'm failing you all. What is done is done, Thancred. You can't blame yourself for every... Rena, it's good to see you again. Impeccable timing, my friend. Just finish regaling Minfil... Gex. Thancred has told me everything. You've done well to return to us. The perils you faced were undeniably great, yet a part of me believes that I had no cause to fear. And now we can put to paid to our long investigation. As we suspected, the Amalgia undertook the, both the robbery and the abductions with the aim of summoning the primal Ifrit. Nor is this tale limited to Old Da. Similar incidents have been rife in both Nimsa Lominza and Gridania of late. I dare say you've been curious as to how these crimes are primals. Permit me to explain. Having manifested in the physical realm, primals must consume aether if they are to maintain their presence here. And the stronger they become, the more aether they require. Now, aether exists throughout creation. It flows through all life and permeates the very air that we breathe. Alas, this alone will not suffice to sustain the likes of Ifrit. Nay, he and his kind require a more concentrated source of aether, crystals. It is for this reason the incidents involving crystals can often be tracked back to a primal. Which leaves us with the why of the abductions. To understand this, you must first understand how primals are born. When all is well with the world, primals possess no physical form. Their essence is dispersed across the great river of Aether. However, when the world is plunged into chaos, those who worship the primals cry out to their gods for deliverance from suffering. These cries serve as a beacon towards which the primal's essence is irresistibly drawn. It is this coming together, or etheric coalescence, which gathers the being's physical form. Once born, the primal gains the strength from its followers' worships. The more numerous and fervent they are, the more powerful their god becomes. But the primals are seldom satisfied with such appearance freely give, and in order to gain more power, they do not scruple to create followers. They do this by tempering mortals, a process to which you yourself were subjected. Yet, even as Ifrit took your comrades in his thrall, you alone remain undefected. This is thanks to the power you possess, the Echo. We know not of why of it, but those blessed with the Echo are immune to primal influence. It's as though a greater power protects us. When first you came to us, I told you that the Echo could be insurmountable in dealing with the primal threat. I trust you now begin to see why. The recent incidents all share a common trait, meticulous planning. Such elaborate designs are a new de development, and one which fills me with an air of that, and one which fills me with an unshakable sense of foreboding. While I share your concern, my 
My pre While I share your concern, my presiding feeling is one of relief that at your safe return. Ah, the immortal flames assured me that they will deal with the aftermath, so you need not concern yourself with that. We may rest easy for a time. I suggest you take full advantage of the respite, Rena, but don't you? You may be sure it won't last long. Once the people learn of the identity of who fell a freak, I fear you will have nary a moment to yourself. Whether she intended to or no, Manfilia neglected to tell you something. Something I think it would be best you heard from one of us. It concerns the tempered abduct abductees that were rescued. I am sorry to report that all are to be put to death, the flames with whom you were imprisoned included. Needless to say, this information must not be made known to the public. I swear to you that we would not do this if there were other recourse. But once a man is tempered, he is tempered for life. His very existence lends strength to the primal to whom he cannot choose but worship. And so we scions continue our fight, that no more innocents need to be sacrificed. I hope that you will continue to stand with us. But I should be going. I must offer my apologies to the Flame General for the losses. Till next time. Forgive me. Louis Swap never this day. I have to do better. I have to be stronger. Dump. Minfilia. A hero in the making. Minfilia is wearing a wry smile. Might it have something to do with your newfound fame? <laughs> yeah, Foxfire, unfortunately. Until not so very long ago, you were but one of many the adventurers seeking to make their way in Eorzea. But for your character and courage, you were raised to the esteemed post of Envoy. Therefore, you traveled the realm, aiding those in need without a thought of a reward, confirming to Thancred and that the Scions would be a benefit to your aid. And no sooner had you joined us than you were personally bested the primal of have achieved a great deal in a short time, and won fame in so doing. Alas, fame does not come without a price, as you will soon discover. We have guests, Rena and Lodonia, or rather, you have guests. Big pardons. Lady Menphilia, radiant as always. I am given to understand that the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have but recently welcomed a new hero into their midst. I am here on behalf of the Maelstrom, Grand Company of Limbs Illumins, to offer said hero a place of honor within our, within our ranks. As you can see, Rena, Ladonia, your recent exploits have garnered, both the, garnered you both the attentions of the Grand Companies of Eorzea. Each organization would have Ifrit's bane for its own. To this end, all three have sent representatives to court you. They would have not ordinarily go to such lengths to enlist a newly recruit. That they have is evidence of their high regard of you. I 
find myself wondering how a word of Rena's deeds spread so quickly. That the immortal <laughs> frame should know of her triumphs is to be expected. But what of the other grand companies? Your reputation precedes you, Mistress Frith. Tis no ordinary woman who can face a primal urge the victor. The Order of the Twin Adder has need of valiant women such as you. Join your strength to ours, Fred. And l together, let us ensure that peace ever reigns over the Twelveswood. What a pleasure it is to finally meet you, Mr. Sreth. My comrades speak of you in the most glowing terms. Why, even before you aided us against the Amalgia and the Primal, yours was already a respected name in Nolda. Our people know you and love you well. A woman of your talent belongs with the immortal flame. Join your strength to ours, friend, and together let us secure a prosperous future for Old Ah. The Admiral was not exaggerating when she said you have the look of a... Full often does she speak of you, friend. It is only natural that we should want you for the Maelstrom. Join your strength to ours, and together let us see the grand vessel of Limsa Lomenza to the doors of glory. Uh. <laughs> uh. Lady Menphilia. Very well. <laughs> Though I am quite sure you need no reminding, may have a brief summary of the situation would help to clarify your thoughts in the matter. As you know, the brand companies are all encompassing organizations empowered to call upon the martial, economic, and technological resources of their representative city-states in time of strife. There are presently three such organizations in Eorzea, the Maelstrom of Limsa Lamenta, the Order of the Twin Adder of Gordania, and the Immortal Flames of Ulva. Serving the Grand Company means serving the nation to which it belongs. You will be charged with its defense and tasked with advancing its cause. Yes, I agree with you, uh, Ripley. Time to use my stealth. Excuse me, stay trying. <laughs> <laughs> In return... Hey, look, an obvious distraction! <laughs> yeah. In return for your faithful service, you will be furnished with the various rewards, some of which may well prove useful to you in your endeavors. Like a chocobo? Chocobo would be good. If you are agonizing over which of the grand companies best deserve your loyalties, be at ease. The commitment you make this day be not, need not be permanent. Should you wish to shift your allegiance at a later date, you are entitled to do so. And yet, I can see that it is not a small choice you face. Ah, a thought occurs to me. Well, you will, of course, recall that the three city-states are planning to hold a remembrance service. Well, part of the proceedings, I am given to understand that the leaders of each grand company will deliver an address. Hearing these addresses ought to help you make it an informed decision. What say you, my dear officers? Fine suggestion. You are wise as you are beautiful, lady. Very well. Let Lodonia hear our leader, then return here with her decision. And you three, no getting into barroom brawls with each other while you're waiting. Mm -hmm. We eagerly await your answer. Yes, they do. What was that about their uniform? <laughs> they said they'd look good in their uniforms. No, you look good in none of their uniforms. Oh, <laughs> that we, ah. we'd look good in none of their uniforms. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know full well that adventurers are, by their nature, a liberty-loving breed, and not the best suited to the discipline of military service. But I strongly urge you to go to a grand company nonetheless. While the promise of reward is enticing in life, it is not the only benefit. You are possessed of a great power 
Rena Padonia, and with it, you are capable of doing untold good. Yet that great power is one to attract attention, not all of it friendly. There will be those who wish you ill, and you must needs be on the lookout for them. Yet, however vigilant you are, you are but two women. In the midst of the grand company, however, you will be two women against many, amongst many, and a friend amongst friends. Your achievements will be shared, and so will the dangers. I can think of no better arrangement. Of course, joining in one organization need not mean leaving another. I hope we will continue to rely on your aid. The Twelfth know that we will have need of it in the days ahead. The Grand Companies seek to protect their own nations. We Scions, on the other hand, seek to preserve the future of Eorzea as a whole. Similar, but not quite the same. Now then, I expect that you will be afield more often in the future. As such, I would have you carry this link pearl with you at all times. It will allow us to stay in touch regardless of location. Eorzea is changing, Rena, Ladonia, and you have the power to help shape it anew. None can say what the morrow will bring us. But so long as we believe in ourselves, there is not we can achieve. Now, it is time you made ready for your journey. Before you depart, be sure to speak to Tataru. She will prize you as to where and when the remembered services are due to take place. Will it admit I had not been thinking that we'd be getting the Grand Company dump at this point. Ah, yeah, the uh, Grand, we have to go through the Grand Company to get our chocobos. Yeah. Now, despite the fact that they're here to talk to and everything, let's cut it more or less here. Yeah. I'm going to step outside real quick. Yeah. Probably uh, jump on a chocobo to uh, head back to Old Da for a nice comfy bed. thinking maybe maybe sending myself out in the square or is there a bar here is there what a bar yes there's a bar here the piss ps day well i might wish for a better bar but it'll do any port in a bit time <laughs> so it looks like next week we get massive 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 Info story dump. Woohoo! Pick a seat. That's what I wanted. So thank you all for coming. Um, as yes. par typical, we do this every Sunday. We will eventually get to like something higher too. Hey, hey, we went through a dungeon and a primal. Yeah, that was actually a big chunk of stuff. So that's some not really too important shabby. story bits in there. Mm -hmm. We will be back next w Sunday at 9:30 to 11 p.m. Uh, Pacific to do more Bun Bun Story Time. We will also have our deep dungeon runs on Saturday at about roughly the same time slot. Please hit follow so you can uh, get notifications of when we go live and thank you very much for joining us this evening it was great seeing you all yes it's been great being here and having you guys along so you guys have a good night and be healthy for the week yeah sleep well have a great week stay safe be well